Rain, rain, go away. Please come back another day so the U.S. Open can play. Luis Sirico, the American, taking on Gadecki from Australia. Now, Gadecki's made four ITF championships in Australia, and she's lost all four of them. But she's made five on the year, and she did finally get one recently. She's a favorite in this match, guys. 2.5 to 1 favorite, and Luis Sirico brought out the heat-seeking Missiles, straight laser beams in the first set. She took the first set in a tie break. Now, the first set was tied at three, Gadecki on serve, and then the rain started. So they postponed the match, came back out. Sirico took the first set, and then Gadecki said what had what had happened was she'd come back, take the second set. We're tied at one now. Get your popcorn. When the rain stops, this is a match you do not want to miss, guys. Watch that. Now, as you're parking and entering the grounds of the U.S. Open, you're met with the large globe that's Queens Flushing. And then as you pass the globe, you see the beautiful waterfalls in Louis Armstrong Stadium. And to the left of that is Arthur Ashe Arena, the largest indoor tennis arena in the world. Such a beautiful arena, ladies and gentlemen. But we have tennis in the land. Sloan Stevens, she won the U.S. Open in 2017. She was the hottest name in tennis back then. But having to play two matches in one day, that's right, concluding the second set with Mira and Dreva. And trust me, that's a workout plan. Now you have to come here and face one of the best in shape players on tour, Sarah Cerebus Termal. She can go 30 shots deep with anyone. She's from Spain. Now, these two ladies have a history. They've played on the clay, the green clay in Charleston, South Carolina. And we all know the green clay, uh, it's a little different from the brown stuff or the red stuff, right? Coco said it best Charleston is like a hard court. Coco didn't play Charleston this year. She took that tournament off. I had the luxury to go on the court at Charleston. And yeah, the green clay, it's kind of like a hard surface, to be honest with you. But Sloan Stevens, the last time they played was in Charleston. Sloan did win Charleston. And she was down 5-2 in the first set. She'd force a tie break. The second set would go to the tie break. So they have a history together. But they haven't played recently, ladies and gentlemen. And Sarah's just finding her rhythm again. She took out, that's right, in the first round, Sinyakova sent her packing. In the second round, she took out Kuda Matova. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Sloan, we saw her defeat Lauren Davis, finally, who has had great success against her recently. And, of course, Marin Dreva, she had to finish up today. Last night's match was uh, postponed due to darkness. It was more like fog. It was very foggy because they do have lights. But with all the fog and rain, just too, too dark to play. Now, Sarah's feeling herself. She takes the first set. And if you didn't see this match, she went to get her towel, stopped. Resume. Stop. Resume. She's like, oh, should I get my towel? Should I leave it? Should I get it? Should I leave it? That's how much she's feeling herself. She doesn't even think she needs her towel. Now, if you take a look at points, she doubled up Sloan's points. She literally committed half the unforced errors of Sloan, and she's pretty efficient. This new look Sloan Stevens plays sem basically into the hands of what Sarah wants to do. Long shot rallies and just wait till your opponent makes mistakes. Sloan's a solid shot maker, though. We're going to see what she can do in the second set. Sarah takes the first, and she gets the break to start the second set. That is not a good sign. Tennis in a minute. We'll be back.